Hey guys, in this video I'm going to introduce you to the concept of linear interpolation and then I'm going to walk you through an example of how to interpolate in a property table. Let's get started. Let's say we have a plot with two points. Point 1 is located at position x1 and y1 and point 2 is located at position x2 and y2. Next, we're going to connect these two points with a straight line. And in doing so, we're assuming that there's a linear relationship between our dependent variable y and our independent variable x. Next, let's say that we have some x value that lies between x1 and x2. We're going to draw a line straight up from our x value until it intersects the straight line that we've drawn. Next, we're going to go over to see where this value intersects with the y-axis. Now the goal here is to say if we have some known value of x, we want to determine the value of y for this point. And we know here that our unknown y is going to lie somewhere between y1 and y2. So to recap so far, we have some known value of x that lies between x1 and x2. And for this known value of x, we want to find an unknown value for y, which lies somewhere between y1 and y2. We're going to do this using a simple concept from geometry called similarity. So hopefully you can see that we can draw two triangles here, one large triangle and another smaller triangle. Through a quick glance you might notice that each of these triangles have the same interior angles. One of the triangles is simply a scaled version of the other. This is going to allow us to use the concept of geometric similarity. Geometric similarity is a transformation that preserves angles and changes all distances in the same ratio, called the ratio of magnification. Now let's take a look at the lengths of the sides of our two triangles. So our large triangle has a height of y2 minus y1, and the width of the base is x2 minus x1. Similarly, our small triangle has a height of y minus y1, and the width of the base is x minus x1. Because these two triangles are similar, their dimensions are proportional by some constant scaling factor, known as the ratio of magnification. So we can see here that we have the height of the small triangle relative to the height of the large triangle, and the width of the base of the small triangle relative to the width of the base of the large triangle. Now our goal here is to solve for this unknown value of y, and we can do this through some simple algebra. So we'll rearrange our equation, and we'll solve for our unknown value of y and this results in our linear interpolation formula. So the purpose of this formula is to allow us to solve for an unknown value of y for a known value of x. Now that we know how to perform an interpolation, let's take a look at an example. What we're looking at here is a table with the density of air as a function of temperature. And we know the density of air at a temperature of 20 degrees as well as at a temperature of 30 degrees. However, we do not know the density at a temperature of 25 degrees. So we want to perform an interpolation to determine this unknown density. So here is our linear interpolation formula that we're going to use. Our first density corresponds to a temperature of 20 degrees. Our second density corresponds to a temperature of 30 degrees. 
Our second temperature is 30 degrees. Our first temperature is 20 degrees. And finally, we're looking to solve for the density at a known temperature of 25 degrees. So next, we're gonna plug in these values into our interpolation formula. And when we substitute these values in, we can solve for the density and we find that it equals 1.184 kilograms per meter cubed. Now when we plug this value into our table, you'll note that this seems correct because the density does lie somewhere between 1.2 at 20 degrees Celsius and 1.16 at 30. So this seems correct and probably means that we've performed the interpolation correctly. And that's it. I hope this video provided you with a good introduction to the concept of linear interpolation. Thanks for watching. You can find me at David Calamus on Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn. If you liked this video and would like to see more, subscribe below.